Eagle Band. Let's give her a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah.
Next week, we've got a couple games left and we can take first place. All right? Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's go. We get some stuff. We want some more. We want some more. Don't forget it. We ain't done yet. Hey, fellas, fellas, that's how you battle, baby. That's what a family do. Hey, family on three. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Chris Hooks, play by play voice of the NCCU Sports Network, here with the head coach of the Eagles, more or less the Cardiac Eagles, as they come from behind 7 to 1. They were down about midway through the ball game to win 15 to 11, clinch the series, and virtually lock up a spot in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Coach, wow, what a game! It, it, <laughs> that's, that's a good way of putting it, Chris. Uh, just uh, really uh, a testament to our uh, character as a team. You know, we've done it before this year, and you know, we just keep battling. We stayed with it. These guys got a lot of perseverance, and, and they, they worked really hard, and we earned it. We earned a victory. We certainly did. And Dandridge didn't have his magical stuff as he had of late, but, again, he had set the bar so high, and then we made, didn't help him behind him. But, again, what was it about? What, what was the guy saying in, in the dugout? You're down 7-1. I mean, most teams would have just folded. Yeah, stay with it. You know, I, we've done it before. And, you know, when, you, when you've done it before, you, you got in the back of your head that you can do it again. I, I knew what they had coming into the mound. I knew if our approach was good that we were going to have a chance to uh, put up some runs today. And I think that, um, to me, somewhat the turning point was Carlos Ortiz's first home run to make it 5-1. It really seemed to wake the guys up. Yeah, it did. It was a spark. You know, it got us back in the game, let us know that we can score. It, it kind of put a little little bit of a halt to their momentum, even though they came out and scored two in the top of the fourth. But uh, it got us going, and we, we just stayed with it. Yeah, that's the bottom line. The guys just stayed with the approach. They stayed with the game plan, and, uh, you know, we outlasted them. The win puts you at 12-10 and 10 in the conference. You may still have to play two more, but for the third straight year under your tutelage since you've been here, we've gotten at least 12 wins in conference play. Yeah, you know, that's, yeah, we want more. You know, I guess that's the best way of putting it. You know, you can say it's okay and, and whatever you want to call it, but, you know, we want more and we still expect more and then we're going to strive for more. Just, again, you talk about the turning point in the ball game. You scored, you, for them, they scored the first five innings. The six, you finally kept them off the board after they threatened with the bases loaded. I think at that point, I think we had sensed we had them. It, it, would you feel the same way? I felt like that the momentum was in our favor. If we did what we had, we needed to do and, and we took care of our end of things, I, I felt like it was going in our direction, and it did. You know, Between Jake and Vern coming in, they, they really calmed things down for us on the mound and, and allowed our bats to get us back in the game. To win this series, to, to do what we did in the, these two wins for this series, it just, again, talks about this team, and maybe we should just always start off 3 nothing. maybe. I don't know. You know, it seems like that. I don't, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think it gets back to having some young players. Um, you know, we still play a lot of freshmen and sophomores, and we still have guys that, that need to learn how to show up every day. You know, we can't always be down, you know, three, four, nothing and expect to come back. It worked today and, you know, tomorrow it might not work. So we still have work to do just as far as a maturity standpoint. To send your seven seniors off for the win on senior day like this, they're certainly going to remember this one. You know, you can't say enough about those guys. They, they just they just compete and they work hard and they just don't quit. They're, they're just a really good group, really good group. All right, Coach, congratulations. And I guess we'll kind of see how things shake out over the next two weeks. That's right. Thank you, Chris. That's Appreciate head coach Jim Kerner. Eagles win the series against Florida A&M two games to one. Check for more updates on the NCCU baseball team here on NCCUEaglePride.com.